Okay, so here we are with another video. And as I mentioned, this is the third and the final level of rotation. And uh, in this, the center is not going to be the origin, okay? So it's fairly easy, okay? Uh, exactly the same as when center was origin, okay? But except this time, you gotta be very careful when you're counting. And again, we're gonna be using these weird looking shapes to do that, okay? So I have two examples over here, which I'm gonna do for you, okay? One by one. So let's see the question that says, rotate the point A, two comma three about X, three comma one. So you can clearly see that the center is no more the origin. It is in fact, this point X over here and 90 degree clockwise in the first part. Okay, so first things first, I am going to carefully see how many units do I have to move and also in which direction in order to get to A. So you can see that I have to move one unit to the left and two units up. Okay, so let's mark that on this uh, arrow over here. So, I mean, this weird looking sign over here. So one to the left and two up. Now imagine this spinning 90 degree clockwise. So that means from the center, this point is going to move one unit up and two to the right. So from the center, I want you to count one unit up and two to the right. And as always, I have to, okay, never mind. So one unit up and two to the right. So this is where we end up. Let's do that again from three, one unit up and two units to the right. So where do we end up? We end up over here, one, yep. So the rotated point has coordinates five comma two. And then 180 degrees. So again, for 180 degrees, like I said, I'm not even gonna recommend that you use the arrow. Okay, just change the whole, um, just turn it in the opposite direction. Okay, so for example, this is one unit left. So now it's gonna be one unit to the right. And previously it was two units up. So that means now it's gonna be two units down. So from the center, one to the right and two down takes us over here. Okay, let's use a different color for this. So that's gonna be four and minus one. So four comma minus one. And then for 90 degree anti-clockwise, I will definitely recommend that you use the sign. So imagine this spinning 90 degree anti-clockwise. So that means one left is going to turn one down and two up is going to turn two to the left. So this requires a lot of patience, by the way, okay? Don't try to rush into it. Be patient uh, when doing this, okay? And you will get there, inshallah. Okay, so one down and two units to the left. So one, two. Where do we end up? We end up at one comma zero. So that was one example. Let's do another example over here. So this point is uh, point B we have to rotate, which has coordinates four minus four comma one. And the center is zero comma two. The center is on the Y axis. Okay, so let's track our point that we have to rotate from the center. So that's one down. And how many units to the left? So that's one down and one, two, three, four. Okay, four units to the left. So let's mark that over here. One down and four to the left. Okay, so rotating at 90 degree clockwise. Now again, imagine this spinning. So it's gonna go one to the left and four up. So from the center, one to the left and four up. So here we are, one to the left, one, two, three, four. Four up, that takes us to minus one comma six. Now for 180 degrees, again, just change the whole uh, direction. So one down is gonna become one up and four to the left is going to become four to the right. So that takes us where? That takes us to, okay, let's do that again. One up, one, two, three, four. So that takes us at four comma three. There you go. And for 90 degree anti-clockwise, we will definitely use the sign. So first let me erase these markings, okay. Now, if this were to spin 90 degree anti-clockwise, so one down is going to go one to the right and four left is going to go four down. So from the center, let's move one to the right and four down. So one, two, three, four. So there you are. We are now at one comma minus two. So nice and easy, you know, that's the best tip that I can give you. And uh, take it slow, don't rush into it. Be very careful when you're counting and you'll get there, okay. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, all for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. In the next video, we will do some more complex questions where we will rotate shapes. And in the video after that, we will learn how to find the center of rotation. So yeah, that's it. That's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.